In this video, we're going to have a look at the slug area. We'll go over its uses in print production, as well as how to set it up and export it successfully. So stick around. The slug area is the part of a printed sheet that gets trimmed away as part of the finishing process. It's the area outside of the bleed where things like crop marks and fold marks live, and its main use is to provide information to the press operator about any details relating to the print job. You may not even realize it, but if you've ever output a document with crop marks, you've already made use of the slug. Marks like crop, bleed, and color bars can be added automatically when outputting a PDF to press, and these are, most of the time, the extent of the slug area's use. However, as a way of conveying information to the printer, there are some other less common uses that can still be helpful from time to time, such as indicating where a job needs to be folded, as shown here, indicating page arrangement, and letting the printer know if something that could be mistaken for a problem is, in fact, intentional. Slug is also useful to provide reference for other markings that you may need to include in a file that aren't necessarily there to be printed, such as die lines. To set up the slug in InDesign, you need to twirl down the bleed and slug section of the new document dialog box, then enter a value for the amount of slug you want to add. You can also add and adjust slug in an existing document via the document setup dialog, found under the file menu. When setting up a job that requires folds or die cuts, or indeed anything even a little bit out of the ordinary, always check with your printer to be sure of how they want the job handed off. Don't guess how your printer needs a file to be set up. Ask. So let's quickly toss something into the slug in an InDesign document just to see how it works in practice. We've got a standard A4 page in landscape and we want to fold it into an A5. So we're just going to add 5mm of bleed to our document and a slug of 16mm. Now to add a basic fold mark, all you need to do is draw a line in the slug where you want the fold to be. A 10mm line will fit neatly into a 16mm slug and leave a 1mm gap with the bleed. Pick a colour for your line. This is one of the rare times you can use registration if you like. And finally, fold marks are typically printed as a dashed or dotted line, so just set that in the stroke type dropdown. Check the position of the fold. In this case it's just centered through the page and then just hold down the Alt or Option key and drag a copy of the line to the bottom of the page. Keep the Shift key held as well to drag in a straight line. And that's pretty much it, you've created a fold mark in the slug. Exciting stuff. So now what? In order to include anything that you've placed in the slug area when you output your file for print, you literally only need to check a box. It's in the Marks and Bleeds section of the PDF export dialog creatively called Include Slug Area. Check that, hit the Export button, and you'll have a PDF with your slug content included. Hope this was some use to you. Thanks for watching.